Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a quick little benchmark speed test here between some of the, uh, you know, the bad boy top end phones of the market right now. Uh, we do have from left to right the Xperia Z5 Premium, uh, the iPhone 6S uh, Plus, which is very nice, uh, the Nexus 6P as well, which I've been using in my daily driver. Uh, we do also have the uh, LG V10, uh, which needs a new back, I think. And uh, finally, the Note 5 here, which is a very nice phone. Uh, so I wanted to uh, check out the speed of all these here, running some uh, pretty standard benchmarks, such as Antutu, as well as Geekbench. But first, we're just going to try and start them up at the same time here, uh, to see if uh, we can see any kind of parity here when it comes to the starting up and this one might be quite difficult but we are going to give it a try here so we can see if uh, there's a difference when it comes to start up so how am I going to do this A eh? it's going to take some magic that's what it's going to do so I think we can uh, do this maybe uh, this was this one's going to be quite tricky actually. <laughs> so three, two, one. Whoa, slippery phone. Three, two, one. Let's go. First time lucky. So not in the original order, but you can see the iPhone does come first. And he's gonna be second. Oh the note five. That's what we like to see. Then the V ten. Who's gonna be third? Fourth, should I say? Oh, it's gonna be the Sony. It's gonna be the Sony. No, it's not. It's in the next. Ah, oh, that was literally identical. I couldn't see then. You know, uh, I'd probably have to like rewind that. But you can definitely see the iPhone is way out in front here uh, when it comes to the booting up. Definitely an area of improvement, I think, for the other phones here. Uh, so basically, we can just. Uh, get rid of everything on all the devices here. Just make sure uh, we are, you know, fair and everything. So we can get a good speed test. And you can see a lot of swiping action here with them, which would be nice if we had a task killer like on some of them. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we can start off here with uh, Antutu, so very popular benchmark here, uh, very well known. We're using the 64-bit version where applicable. Uh, so we should run through this nice and quick. So go, go, go. Go, go, go. So, uh, wow, this is noisy. Uh, so basically, in terms of the uh, processing here, we do have a mixture of uh, kind of uh, socks here. I don't mean the socks you put on your feet. I mean system on chip. So we're getting the Snapdragon 810 here. Versus Exynos 7420 uh, versus the iPhone 6S Plus Apple A9 and the uh, Xperia Z5 Premium Snapdragon 810 again, Snapdragon 808 in the LG V10. Uh, but generally, day to day, the V10 seems to keep up to the standard when it comes to you know the other handsets here, and sometimes surpasses them. I have been reading the Apple A9 
uh, single core performance is actually still better than the new Exynos uh, 8000 series as well as the Snapdragon 820 so that's quite interesting that uh, the A9 is so good when it comes to single core uh, but then again you know it's uh, multi core as well is very important when you're multitasking I'm guessing uh, which uh, you do get a lot of multitasking opportunities on Android uh, but nevertheless, you can see here the uh, G, the G, the V10, and the Note 5, uh, the Z5 Premium, uh, pretty much neck and neck here. Z5 Premium going out in front, maybe, which is quite interesting. Definitely a very good decision for Sony to uh, basically make sure that you know the the uh, screen resolution defaults to full HD as you can see here full HD uh, so that it doesn't affect the battery life and things like that very clever implementation but then again I think in future because of the very uh, fast developments when it comes to battery as well as like processing power we might have a phone which has 4k all the time uh, and can give you good battery life. In fact, I think Samsung might be looking at doing that on the Note 6 to try and one up Sony. Uh, but you can see here, I think the Z5 Premium is still ahead when it comes to and 2.2. Very nice frame rate here, getting about 50s or something, which is nice. And I think the Nexus, uh, well, how's the Nexus doing? It looks like it's a little bit behind here. I'd think stock uh, Marshmallow would be ahead if you ask me. But uh, you can see the Z5 and the V10, very nice performers here. And we are getting some scores coming in. Uh, Note 5, you know, coming with the 70,487. Definitely the phone to beat when it comes to the raw synthetic. Uh, Z5 Premium, 63,665. Uh, the V10, 52,909, which is quite decent. And we just wait for these late comers. Wow. So the Nexus didn't do very well there. It only got 56,780. Uh, which is like only a little bit above the V10 so uh, maybe just having an off day there but we we'll just wait for the iPhone so again that 58,722 which is quite nice uh, on the iPhone dual core obviously so you can see some definite differences here when it comes to the scores uh, but uh, how do they compare when it comes to the Geekbench? We can have a look here. So we do have that installed on both of the, all of them, shall I say. And we're just going to start them up here. So you can see, where is it? There it is. And that one. So we're just going to run through this nice and quick. I know the iPhone is a beast here on this uh, particular test. By the time you click it, like 10 seconds later, it's done. <laughs> it just doesn't disappoint whatsoever. The iPhone is doing really well here, you know, with these Android handsets. First to boot up. Uh, first to finish the Geekbench here and you can see very nice scores for the single core multi core here on the iPhone so the uh, Note 5 brilliant score when it comes to the multi core as you can see uh, well up there and also Z5 Premium, we do have uh, 1342 uh, and 4332, uh, which isn't the best really when it comes to the multi-core compared to the Nexus, which has done well this time. 
And finally we do have a V10, a little bit low obviously, Snapdragon 808 scores there. I definitely think they could have put Snapdragon uh, 810 in the V10 just for because at the end of the day it runs a bit cooler nowadays and you know there's not a huge issue with it but nevertheless you might do it for the G5 uh, so you can see very nice uh, sitting on top of the pile here when it comes to the Note 5 though when it comes to the multi-core uh, the single core obviously the domain of the uh, the iPhone here which uh, I was expecting really uh, but yeah you know some interesting differences here definitely looking forward to the processing technology of the uh, Snapdragon 820 new Huawei uh, Kirin chip as well is coming very soon uh, so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one cheers